Hello, I'm James with Seashore Tile, and today we're doing a demo. As you see, we removed the toilet so we can do the demo on the tile floor. And we put a piece of cardboard over it to ensure the smell stays in and not in your face. We're going to be drawing a line across the level at the top to ensure that we miss the flange. We're going to be doing the same process all the way around the tub. And it makes it easy removal of the tub. We will be removing this baseboard because as you see, it's in the way of removing the tub. So we're going to be cutting on top of the baseboards. When you remove the baseboards, you always want to cut your caulk to make sure you don't pull any paper or paint off your walls. When removing the tub, you'll need to make sure you remove all the fixtures. The shower head and the drain and the faucet. This is the removal of the overflow valve. Now we're removing the drain. And this is the drain removal tool. This is the drain removal tool. It's very important to have when you're removing the tub. Always remember to shut off your water before removing the shutoff valves. I'm going to remove the water lines from the shutoff valves. We're going to be removing all the plumbing along with the <coughs> shutoff valves and the lines so we can remove the vanity. Nobody gets paid.
After removing shutoff valves, you want to sand around the pipes with Palmer copper sanding paper. And the purpose is, is so when you install this temporary caps, it, it'll, it'll uh, seal it real good and doesn't have burrs in it. And you won't ever have an issue with it leaking. Now we can turn the water back on. After everything is put back in, vanity and everything, you can use this tool to remove your shark bite cap. And it goes on behind the shark bite. And then you pull it to you and the, the cap will come off. We removed the vanity, the toilet, and the fixtures and the shower head for the tub. Now we're in the process of removing the tub. When using the Sawzall, it stirs up a lot of dust, so it's best or recommended to use a shop vac to keep control of the dust. As you see, this the flange I spoke about, and by drawing a line right above the flange, it allows us to remove the screws all the way around the tub, and we can cut the tub up in manageable pieces and take it out. As you see, we removed all the screws and the drywall that's in front of the flange. We're going to be cutting the tub in smaller manageable pieces to get it out with ease. And we, I like to cut in the corners. Cutting in the corners, you don't have to worry about cutting plumbing or wires. Tell me what we're doing. When, when cutting a tub with a sawzall or any grinder or what sort, you want to wear a mask and safety goggles. It's most important. And again, try to use the shop back if you have one to minimize the dust. <laughs>
Excellent. When cutting the tub, you want to make sure you keep your blade shallow so you avoid cutting your copper lines. That'd be it for today. I'm going to see you next episode.